Hey y'all, it's Dave Anderson here at Harborside Marina. First real warm day of spring, March 10th, 2021. Just arrived. You saw me do a 27 game fish and slate blue before. Just got another one. It's a little bit different. I'm going to show you the differences. But let's start right here. Through the stem anchor. Okay, controllable at the bow and also at the helm. And I'll get into that a little bit later. Huge Carolina flare. 60 degree entry. 24 where she rides on the dead rise. 21 in the transit. This boat's 27 and a half feet long. Side entry door right here. Bring in that big tuna, guys. Bring it in. Coming around the back. Here's where the differences start. My other one has 200s. This one, I went a little crazy. Just a little bit. I got the new 250 offshore Yamahas on this boat. Totally redesigned. Internal electronic power steering standard on these motors. Rear transom boarding ladder. That's not only a convenience feature, but a safety feature as well. God forbid you ever fall over the side of the boat and you're doing the right thing and wearing your lanyard. If the boat will stop, you can swim over to it and easily deploy this with one hand and get right back on your boat. God forbid that ever happens, but it's a nice safety feature if it does. Okay, we're going to leave it deployed. You also notice recessed trim tabs, underwater lights. As we board the boat, swing opening, transom door here, step down. This is also a jump seat. Combination rod and cup holder here. Rod holders everywhere on this boat. Here's our rear removable bench seat that flips down, or you can remove it. If you're hardcore fishing, just take it right out of your way. Cutting board on top of the kill box. Massive kill box. That's all insulated. Ice in there, keep your fish fresh all day long. Corner transom live well. Look, it's new boat stiff. Again, good sized and ready for action and in the right place. Right next to the cutting board. Well, cutting board's in the right place. This one is also equipped with the leaning post with the live well bait tank. So under here, you have yet another live well that is absolutely massive. Okay, you can keep bunkering that thing all day long. Go get you some stripers. Sea Hunt's proprietary bottle opener, because that's important. You got jig holder here, hook holder, pliers, and knife here. More hooks or jigs over on the side. Okay. Tackle storage. Plenty of it. Here, knives, drawers with pull-out partitions, three Plano boxes. This side, two Plano boxes, two shelves with divider. More pliers, more knives. On the other side, more tackle storage. Shelves and two Plano boxes, pliers, knives. Also, here's where your freshwater washdown is actually in a quite convenient spot. Side door, let's talk about that. Many uses for this. A, and primary, hauling in the big one. Secondary, easy to get stuff on and off the dock, including people. Also, thirdly, we have the side ladder. Mounts right here, deploys over the side. So if everybody wants to go jumping off the boat and have a good time, they can easily get back on. They don't have to swim around the back of the boat. They board from the side. Rocket washers here and on the hard top. Harborside Marina, here we are. Rear spreader lights. Blue LEDs here. Allow me to demonstrate. Blue LEDs here, aft spreaders, you can see them. And there's also a forward spreader to illuminate the foredeck. Also here you have your switch for your power actuated windshield vent. Very nice feature, get a little air if it's warm. Also you'll notice in the hard top, 
every Sea Hunt boat comes out of the factory comes standard if you get the hard top with a mister system. Okay? Keeps you cool on those crazy hot days when you're anchored up fishing and you don't feel like jumping in the water. Just hit a butt, cools you right down. Really nice feature. Very comfortable captain's chairs. Flip down bolsters. Flip down armrests. Quite comfortable. Another thing the Sea Hunt does that I'm really impressed with is they afford you three places to put your feet while you're running the boat. You have a drop down bar, okay? You also have a well here and a well here. That way there, if you're running out to the canyons or you're going offshore pretty far, you don't have, you know, you can't, it's not like you get up and walk around, but you can move around enough so you don't get stiffened up, okay? But the other nice feature about this boat that's different than the other 27 game fish I have, which is in the same color combination, is this boat's equipped with Yamaha's new autopilot system. Okay. So it, you can walk around on this boat if you're paying attention, but you should always be at the helm even when autopilot's on. Twin Garmin 12 inch screens, wireless phone charger, JL audio system with separate amp, and that is fully Bluetooth capable. Uh, moving around this side, three quarter glass enclosure, tempered glass, not acrylic, tempered glass. It's gonna be a little hard to see it because I've got all the cushions in here. But if you remember my last video, we have a full China head in here with a holding tank and it's also connected to a macerator. So if you're in legal waters to remove your dunnage, you simply hit a button and it goes right over the side. Also, you'll notice for the ladies, this is a nice feature. We have mood lighting and we have a mirror. Okay, let me shut that off. Moving forward. We have a cushion that goes here. A lot of boat manufacturers, what they'll do is they'll utilize this space for another well. Well, Sea Hunt insulates every box on the boat. So what they thought, instead of putting another well here, but they do do it on their smaller models, but on the larger models, they leave that space underneath here, open under the console for a huge amount of dry storage. Very effective, very practical. Bow filler piece here. Obviously we have bow cushions that go in here. These forward boxes are insulated. Okay, they're on gas assisted struts that are stainless steel. They're gasketed, so it will stay dry for the most part, uh, but they are insulated as well. So you can use them as a cooler. You can use them for dry storage. The nice thing is the drains on these go directly over the sides. Every drain on this boat, except one, either drains to the deck and out through the scuppers or directly over the side. There's only one that drains into the bilge and that's just to allow you to rinse out the head from time to time. That's it. That's the only drain that goes in the bilge. Access to your windlass is through that locker there. There are the controls for it. We'll open it up so you can get a peek at it. Beautifully, all stainless hardware. Swivel, anchor, windlass is stainless, chain is galvanized. Uh, on this boat, there's 150 feet total road with chain and road. That's standard from the factory. Again, rod holder slash cup holders. This is a fishing boat, but it's also a very comfortable boat. The other thing I like to point out about Sea Hunts is the hardware they use. Oversized cleats. Anything over 25 gets an eight inch recessed cleat. Nice feature, extra beefy hardware, well-built boat. Hey, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Again, I'm Dave Anderson here at Harborside Marina. We'll see you out on the water.